Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, as you saw by the title, I am going to be telling you guys how I cleared up my skin. Back when I was like around 13, 14, and 15, my skin was really oily. However, now it's completely different because I did things and used products to make my skin less oily and less problematic. I'm gonna be telling you guys what products I use and how they helped me. So I was actually looking for photos of where my skin didn't look that, like you could really see my skin back then. I couldn't really find any. If I do find any, I'll insert some clips. Around my cheek area, it would be, I had a lot of pigmentation around my cheek area. I had a lot of like breakouts. I feel like I did have acne around my cheek area like for a bit, it wasn't for very long though. And I didn't like it, no one likes it. So I was like, I'm gonna do some research and get products that are gonna help my skin. While I was doing some research, I found out about a company called Benzac, which this is not a sponsorship. I found out about Benzac and basically they have products for people who have acne prone skin or acne and I was like I need that so I got so I got a face cleanser I got a gel from them and I also heard about witch hazel toner and I heard that it is drying and I thought that because my skin is really oily I may need that so I got that as well and then I started doing my skin every day and I was taking care of it and it cleared up so the cleanser I was talking about is this one right here it's a daily facial foam cleanser. I'm looking at my laptop. So it's a daily facial foam cleanser and it's really, I found it really, really good. It really helped out with my skin. Like I feel like if I didn't use that, it really helped out. And I only used that for maybe two years while my skin was going through the hard time. And once I was done and I feel like my skin cleared up, I stopped using the product because it's made for acne, like acne prone skin. And I was like, well, my skin's getting better, so I don't really need it anymore. But that definitely helped clear up my skin. Every night I would apply this. This is a cream or a gel that you just apply on top of pimples or acne or like the areas that are prone. So I would apply it every night. They have different percentages. I just got, I'm pretty sure I had, I owned the 5% one because I was like, I need this to go today. I was not gonna get one that was lower because I wanted it to go now. And I was like, my mindset was the stronger, or the higher the percentage is, the faster it's gonna go away. But it's actually um, can damage your skin if you have sensitive skin and you use it, so be careful. Luckily, I don't really have sensitive skin, so it was fine with my skin. It really, really helped. I would just apply it every night to like my cheek area and I'd go to bed and in the morning, Either it would go down or it was not there and eventually applying that all the time my skin just got better and better and better and better until my skin broke out one time from using it and that was because I applied it one night when I didn't have anything it just became part of my routine that's when I realized that I didn't need it anymore and I just got rid of it and my skin's all good so like i mentioned i use the witch hazel toner i've heard good and bad about it however it worked for me maybe if you have sensitive skin it isn't the best i know that if you have dry skin you should not use it because it is very drying onto the skin i had very oily skin back then so i needed something that would dry out my skin and everything so i purchased it and i used it every morning every night just applying it on my face and it definitely helped with controlling the oilness on my face i feel like or maybe it was all the products all working together i'm not sure really really helped so i haven't used any of these products for the past three years because my skin has been it's been doing well so i don't really need those products anymore but those are the products that i use to help clear up my skin for moisturizer i just use whatever moisturizer my family used i'm pretty sure there was like i used a mixture of a qb which was like a really light moisturizer and then sometimes i used nivea which was a little thicker i never applied sunscreen i never really did that i just applied whatever lotion was in my house to my face but however the cleanser the 
the cream or the gel and the witch hazel all three of them really help with my skin i also was using face masks here and there i'm not really sure which exact face masks i was using but try finding a good face mask that would work for you always read the ingredients all the time don't be buying masks from shady places because that's just not good so because my skin has cleared up a bit thank goodness after using all these products i realized i started getting pigmentation in some dark spots so it kind of looked like i had freckles on my cheeks a bit from the scarring that was left behind so i started applying bio oil this is oh this one okay so that's what it looks like i still use this to this day i use this product um every single morning and every single night onto my face it's really good this product is made for scars stretch marks uneven skin tones aging skin and dehydrated skin so basically it's just an oil and this really really helped as soon as i started using this my scarring disappeared i also had pigmentation around here and on my cheeks and a little on my nose that is cleared up which i'm very thankful for and it's definitely this product so if you have any pigmentation or any scarring anywhere on your body really bio oil is the one to use now i use currently is this by garnier a purifying toner with green tea this is made for a combination to oily skin as you can see i'm running low on all of these products however i've had this was super so i've had this for like years and i've had this for like over a year as well or two years to be honest like this product is really good i really like it personally for my skin when you apply cleanser and clean your face you know you think it's all clean but then when i use this it kind of like helps take out the little things in there that's like in your skin this product is really good it smells good it feels good and it's made out of 96 percent of natural ingredients so what's not to love about that so a few months ago before i went on my holiday i decided to invest in a moisturizer just for myself instead of using the one that just everyone else uses because i wanted to wanted to get products tailored towards my skin more so i got this moisturizer this is the simple hydrating light moisturizer and i really 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 like this product simple one to me i really like this product it's really really good they have I believe two kinds of these moisturizers this is a hydrating light moisturizer they also have a heavy moisturizer I decided not to get that because I just want something that's a bit light on my skin I apply this every morning and every night and this really really moisturizes your skin it's super good I highly recommend this product if you have dry skin maybe go for the heavier option the heavy moisturizer however if you have like oily normal combination i definitely recommend getting the light moisturizer it's super light and it's really hydrating it really does hydrate your skin this is also made for sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin it's totally fine and if you don't you can still use the product i remember at one point on youtube this face mask was like a trend like a thing like everyone was applying it and trying it out and 30 days using this face mask and everything so I wanted to just purchase them for myself I bought this two years ago and when I first purchased it I would use it here and there however now I'm starting to use it a little more frequently it's definitely really good this is how it looks like this is the Indian healing clay mask I really like this product this is how it looks like with some green powder in the inside you can apply this product onto your face onto your hair like i said when i first bought this i didn't really use it because i had a kind of like a bad reaction to it when you wet this product you can wet it with apple cider vinegar or water or a mix of the both and in the beginning i used apple cider vinegar and i hate the smell of apple cider vinegar but i was like 15 it's for your skin it's gonna be okay so i applied the apple cider vinegar and my skin was a little red but it felt really soft and i was like okay it's fine then a week later because i was like i'm going to use it like on a weekly basis i applied it again with the apple cider and it just really irritated my skin so i stayed away from it for a couple of weeks then i thought that it's probably the apple cider vinegar that's giving me the reaction because 
pretty strong. So instead, I did a mix of water and apple cider vinegar and I realized that it was perfectly fine. However, now I just apply water with it because I just can't do the smell. The smell of apple cider vinegar is just too much for me. I apply that onto my face every week. However, recently I started applying it into my hair and my curl pattern has changed completely in a good way. It's my hair feels so soft, it's so shiny when I come out of the shower. Definitely recommend this. I got this from Amazon and it was like Amazon Prime and I think I got it for like 20 bucks and it came so fast. It's all natural and what's not to love about it. Love it. So I hope that you guys can take some things or some products or some tips from this video. It would mean a lot if you do. Let me know if you have tried any of these products or if you like any of these products, feel free to let me know in my socials, which I linked down below or in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. You know, that let me know that you guys enjoyed the video, which means a lot. And I really appreciate that. The reason why I made this video is because I remember when I was having skin problems, I always used to search up how to clear skin and I would watch it. And people would be always using like expensive products or products that like, we're only in the US and I live in Australia. So I was like, I'm gonna make a video right now of products that actually worked on my skin and are all affordable. You can get them from your local chemist, except for this, but everything else you can get from your local chemist and it's really affordable. It's not like a 10 step routine. All I did was apply the cleanser, foam cleanser to my face, apply the cream, lotion and went to bed like it was not that hard so i hope this helped you guys out or if you just watched this video because you wanted to watch the video i hope you enjoyed the video it means a lot to me like i said give this video a thumbs up lets me know that you guys enjoy my videos and also subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading two times a week and if you guys made it to the end i love you guys so much